Good afternoon, dear guys. Welcome to the Kazakhstan American Corners program. My name is Timur and I'm a representative of American Corner Pavadar. I and my colleagues. Hello. Uh, Alina. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, great, great. Okay. Alina from American Corner Shunkent. Hi, everyone. Alfia from American Corner Karaganda. Hi, guys. Good to see you. Alina from American Corner Petra Pavlovsk. Hello. Kamajai from American Corner Kostanai. Hey, guys. And finally, Joshua Dufour, a Fulbright alumnus and special guest from the United States of America, will be facilitating you today. Hello. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you all for joining us. I'd like to start with thanking all the volunteers that try to meet the needs of our community. Our great program depends on the amazing engaged work of many volunteers, both to do what we do every day, like today, and to grow in the future. By giving your time, energy, and skills, you can help us build community and shape American Corner into a better place for all. We appreciate your help. As part of the Volunteerism Week of American Corners and Volunteers Year in Kazakhstan, today's presentation is Volunteerism at Kazakhstan American Corners. And I'm happy to introduce to you our first speaker, Alexander Kuvshinov, a volunteer at American Corner, Pavadar. Okay, hello guys, do you hear me well? Do you see me well? Okay, mm -hmm. basically I'm so glad to see everybody today. I mean, yeah, American Corner was a great experience for me and uh, I would really like to share everything what I have learned during these years with you. I mean, it, it was really spontaneous when we first started going to American Corner. I just, uh, you know, wandered there and uh, with some of my classmates and I figured out that, you know, you could do anything uh, with the resources and the materials American Corner provides you to organize some kinds of clubs and meetings with other people. At first, the idea for me seemed, you know, like really extraordinary, like, wow, I have never talked in public. I have never done anything like that before. But uh, at the same time, it was really fascinating. Uh, firstly, basically, we decided to try to do some kind of uh, American Corner elementary clubs and speaking clubs. I was a part of, at that time, called of high five speaking club, yes. And it, it was really amazing, yes. Um, the, the main thing that I appreciate about American Corners is, you know, the inclusivity and the number of people of different ethnicities, of different uh, social backgrounds. Uh, basically here you can meet anybody. Uh, for example, at uh, our meetings where we discussed uh, a little bit further in the future, we started doing TED Talks uh, where we discuss different TED videos. And in this, we, basically in these meetings, we discuss a lot of, you know, uh, social and sharp topics of today's world. And basically what was the most interesting part is that, you know, you could see there a lot of uh, people who are already aged, a lot of really young people, like starting from eight to uh, you know, like eight, nine. And the, the oldest person I have ever had there, I think it was, he, he was over 60. Yes, and all of these people were there together. All of these people were communicating, all of these people were sharing their experiences. And it, it was really a blessing as for me. Um, there were a lot of interesting moments. Uh, of course, there were a lot of struggles. Uh, as for me, the main struggle was, you know, like to talk in public, to try to engage a lot of people of uh, different backgrounds into one discussion. And at the same time, it was quite interesting, yes. I would really like to share one of the, uh, one of my, you know, like my favorite moments uh, in American Corner. Um, basically now I work as an English teacher and American Corner really helped me to, you know, build a base. And uh, by this base, I was able to find my first uh, employer. And uh, basically um, how I decided that, you know, I wanna be a teacher, I wanna uh, teach English. There was an event once where a lot of people have came and uh, what we've done, basically 
as always we've done you know some kind of ted talks we watched the video but this time there were extraordinary amount of people i think there were like 30 or 35 people there and uh, there was a woman with her son and at the same so uh, as i uh, further noticed she was uh, teaching her son english and uh, after the lesson, I always tried, you know, like to collect uh, the small papers with uh, reflection they gave. And this small guy, he was like seven or six years old. He wrote, I wish my school teachers will be uh, the same as you are. And you know what, my heart completely melted at that moment. And I knew that, you know, I'm going to be a teacher. I need to do that. I need to continue to persuade this. And basically, yeah, this is like one of the best experience they have had there. Um, mostly, they, of course, there were a lot of struggles. Of course, there were a lot, of, a lot more interesting moments. But uh, for the beginning, I would really like to engage with you all and to talk a little bit more. If you have any questions, I would be really glad to answer them. OK, nobody has questions. Am I right? OK, thank you, Alexander. Um, yeah, I have one question. What challenges did you have? Uh, as I already mentioned, of course, it was public speaking. Of course, it was, um, you know, the challenge of engaging a uh, different kind of audience into one group. And uh, of course, it was challenge of, uh, you know, like controlling the space. So everything will be in, um, you know, in peaceful way. So nobody argues, nobody uh, you know, do some weird stuff and so on. So it, it, it was really interesting at the same time, yeah. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Actually, uh, yeah. somebody's writing there in chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a question. Can I ask how old are you and since when are you a volunteer in American Corner? That's a good question. Okay, so now I am 19 years old and um, I have been volunteering in American Corner, I think, since I was... 16 or 17 yes last year wasn't really my volunteering year because you know it was kind of difficult to combine a lot of things together like school work uh, applying to different universities and so on uh, but uh, i think 2019 2018 i spent most of my time uh, most of my free time in american corner volunteering yeah okay there are also two more questions i think Okay, thank you, thank you. And let me introduce our another volunteer, Damira. Welcome, please. Hello. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Damira, and unfortunately, uh, my experience in volunteering is not rich enough. I started volunteering in April during quarantine, and I was not able to participate in some leave events. So it makes me regret and hope that the next year of volunteering will cover more events for me and i already had a volunteering experience volunteering at school the experience of volunteering at school but it was such a mediocre and i just wanted to try my luck so i wrote to the american corner in the instagram and luckily timur kandelaevich uh, agreed to uh, to communicate with me and he sent so much information about so uh, he agreed, agreed to accept me as a volunteer. Moreover, I was very worried because before the first lesson, but now I feel quite confident during my English works. I, I teach English uh, to people online. And the main problem is was my language barrier. And I want to be impeccable. However, uh, I'm not. I'm not as such as I'm not as eloquent in uh, in English as in Russian, so it makes me feel totally uncomfortable. And the most interesting thing that I uh, I just started working as an English teacher uh, this week, and it happened only thanks to the American Corner uh, volunteering lessons, and it is unfamiliar for me uh, and thanks to American Corner I'm able to get the opportunity to start, to start earning money uh, doing what is easy and what for me and what is I really like so I hope that my experience will be more great it will be greater and that's my 
uh, volunteering with American Corner is not enough. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Damira. Are there any questions? Where are you studying right now? Uh, I'm studying, I'm actually a senior in the Nazarbayev, in Nazarbayev <laughs> Intellectual School. And it's, I, I finished, just finished 11th grade, so, yeah. What did you volunteer with? Did you teach students? Yeah, I teach students um, every, every weekdays, every Sunday, Sundays, and I give them English lessons. And what were the challenges? There's a question, yeah. I face with my, um, with my own shy. I'm, I'm really shy when it, uh, start in, when it touch my English skills because I'm not um, actually so confident when I start to sp when I'm starting to speak on the other language. So yeah, um, it's everyday challenge for me. But anyway, you were one of the best volunteers at our corner. Thank you very much for Thank what you. you do. Thank you, teacher. Okay, and if there is no question, so I give floor to American Corner Karaganda. Afia, welcome. Okay, hi again. So the first speaker is Camila. She's going to talk about spelling B. Hi, can you hear me well? Yes, hello. We do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I be uh, hi. My name is Camila, and I am really happy to share my experience with you today. Uh, so, I went to American Corner last summer because I wanted uh, to improve my English, and you know, it was summer, and I wanted to not forget how to speak English and all that stuff. And in November, I became a volunteer. I was a little bit nervous to become a volunteer because it's such a big responsibility, but I tried and I never regret about that. It was so cool. I was leading speaking clubs in American Corner and um, I had so many different topics such as insomnia, um, some lifestyle things, space, and of course it improved me and I was um, excited that I can share um, with uh, other people uh, some uh, my knowledge and people can inspire me and in February ex-coordinator of American Corner um, invited me to be one of the volunteers on Spelling Bee 2020 and I was fascinated, really. I was so happy because I wanted to participate in Spell and B, but I'm a student of high school, and so I couldn't do that because only students of university can participate. And when I understood and I realized that I can be a one who organizes all that stuff, it was so cool experience for me. Uh, first of all, uh, there was a teammate uh, there was a team of volunteers uh, who were organizing that and they are all so cool guys. I really mean it. I felt inspired near them because they're all so open-minded and they're all so clever and it was cool. We became friends for this week, week, week of volunteering and, um, and after that I understood that volunteering gave me really a lot. So uh, first of all, um, volunteering gave me friends, a lot of them, a lot of people who inspire me um, on Spelling Bee 2020. I was communicating with judges, with participants, with teammate volunteers, and they all did so much in Kerrigan the city that I understood that I have to be like them. And now I'm trying. Um, and I um, become much more um, communicative and I had some leadership. I have some leadership now 
because when you come to your club and you see that there are some people and you need to make from them one team who will work together, who will talk, and there are some shy guys, there are some guys who wants to talk all the time and you need to control it and you need to um, make all of them talk and share their opinions and their ideas, it was a little bit challenging. But I did it. And I want to say that if you want to become a volunteer in the American corner, you should definitely try it. I never regret about that. That was an amazing, fascinating, incredible experience for me. And uh, it gave me really a lot. And American corner can really encourage and inspire their, vol their volunteers. And that's cool. That's really cool. So I hope that my experience kind of inspired you too and you will be volunteering and trying something new. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Camila. Okay, are there any questions? Uh, okay, uh, Sambri asked you about Instagram page. So just oh, yeah, I will ask text some you. I will text it in the chat. Okay, and I guess, okay, there is one more question. How can we become a volunteer during quarantine right now? So that's a really interesting question. Um, and I guess right now there are only online opportunities and you can just contact us anytime if you would like to help us with some events or if you have some ideas. So just text us and you can volunteer <laughs> okay and the next speaker is alina yegorova okay the floor is yours hello everyone uh my name is alina i'm from kaganda and i am volunteer in american corner from 20 like 2019 i go to the american corner because i am a student um and I will be um, translator in the future and because it, I understand that I need to improve my English and uh, began found place where I can do it. And I found um, American Corner. I go there in November, hi, I said before. And after one week uh, in American Corner, ex-coordinator, um, suggest me uh, to be volunteer and I uh, suggest and I agree with uh, her and um, I begin volunteer. What I did there, I uh, help uh, coordinators with uh, organizing events. Also when uh, somebody come to American Corner Kaganda or a speaker um, was in American Corner, I uh, help uh, coordinators with uh, organizing and uh, also from one month i um, was volunteer here also i uh, found a lot of new friends uh, a lot of uh, experience and um, after a little sometimes um, ex-coordinator um, suggests to me be um, speaker and hold um, english for kids in american corner and i also agree with her i uh, began um, hold uh, this um, meeting one time a week and I uh, I uh, really happy that I uh, agree with her because uh, in future I think I uh, will use this um, experience uh, I can be a teacher and because it um, work with um, children in American corner can help me in future also i want to say that um, be a volunteer uh, in american corner help me in um, future because um, after some time i organize a um, volunteering team in my university and um, if i didn't go to american corner i can do it um, i think and i really uh, happy that I go to American Corner and I know what is it. And also, when I was uh, in CMA, I know that uh, one 
I uh, met one girl from Pavlodar and I uh, and she also was an American corner Pavlodar and I was so happy that um, around to Kazakhstan I can meet um, people who also know what is uh, American corner so I think that's that's all what to say okay thank you so much Alina you did a great job thank you okay are there any questions for Alina Okay, I guess no questions, but we can answer them later anyway. Okay, uh, so we are done. So Kargama is done. <laughs> okay, I give the floor to Shimkent. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Yeah. How are you doing? Are you guys? watching me? Okay. My name is Alina, and uh, I am American Corner Shimkent Coordinator. Here are our three volunteers. Baglan Aydar, Sanjar Abhimajitov, and the Yirnur. First, I give, uh, first of all, I give for Baglan. Baglan, are you turned? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm very glad to be here. Even though I'm in Karaganda now, but I always feel myself being in Shimkent because I was born there and I spent a lot of my time. And American Corner Shimkent helped me a lot. And I achieved a lot. And I want to show you, uh, if you can uh, allow me, guys, can you allow me to share my screen? I want to show some pictures, what we have done, some events. It would be great, guys. Can you do it, please? The host? Okay, thank you very much. So just want to show you some, um, what I've, we've done. I mean, we've done a lot of interesting things and just want to show you on my Instagram page. Yes, I'm, I'm using my phone. And so, and we done a lot, to be honest. And it was very amazing. Like in Shimken, we have a lot of people who are very active. Just, uh, yeah, you, you see my page, just, I'm just scrolling it up just a little bit. Just want to find how we started. So I joined uh, Toastmasters Club in Shimken and it was amazing. Uh, we had a lot of events, so you can see. So this is the, um, the schedule, uh, how we started. And the Toastmaster was good. I mean, it was amazing. We've done a lot. Uh, but I want to do something new. And we opened a debate club. And this is very good because uh, debating, it's always interesting because you practice all your skills. You practice your speaking skills, your writing skills, your listening. You have to be a good listener because you have to listen to other people, what they say. And then you have to counter argument. And we opened our debate club in American Corner Shimken. And we was the first English speaking debate club in the city. And it was amazing event, we were posters. And here you can see, so I'm just showing you, this is our Toastmaster club. Yeah, the quality of video, unfortunately, is not so good, but all you can see that we had very great time. We were like organizing, gathering, and a lot of, there were so many active people. They were like my brothers, sisters, we were like relatives. And we organized so many interesting topics. And it was amazing. Like there were so many active uh, guys and girls and we have a lot of people. And there, like you can see me talking, explaining something. Okay, let's go. And then we continued. And every week we were posting uh, topics and we were like creating topics. And, and we debate about a lot of different things. And here we can see we do debating. Here you can see our guys, they're very active, we're playing. And of course, we're, we were in American Corner and we played the American style. There were a lot of people who were interested and they were learning, they were practicing their English skills. And we had a, such a great time. And there were so many topics I wanna show like on my Instagram and we would talk about gender inequality. Uh, we also organized Pitch Up Pitch Night, we were volunteering there. And here we see people were coming interesting we started from a small club and then we were growing sure just sorry and then we were growing rapidly and so many people uh, gather it and see we also helped to organize so there were some topics we talked about yeah so in Toastmasters we also invited speakers um, well-known people in Shimkent they also were speaking there we can see we were volunteering on spelling being Shimkent so we did a great job. 
and it was amazing. We had also native speakers. They were coming, uh, helping us, and it was a, such amazing. And we organized some interesting topics, beauty versus intelligence, what is more important for women today. And it was a very interesting topic, uh, to be honest. And in Toastmasters, my life philosophy, and we had a great speaker, uh, Ayat Azimov, who's an entrepreneur. Um, so he has his uh, coffee shops in Shimkent, and he speaks English very well, and he shared his experience, how he uh, has built his own business. And it was very interesting because we tried to uh, discuss about different topics, and people were coming. A lot of people were coming. They were interested in learning. Of course, they were interested in learning. And see, you can see we had so many people. People were coming. And maybe it's because, because Shimkent is a big city, and it's the third biggest city in the, in the country. And we had also guest speakers. We have George Dufour. He's an American. We had also Balshak Alamni. I, myself, Balshak Alamni. And we organized so many meetings. And they were sharing their experience. Uh, we were organizing. They were giving uh, very good advice. So overall, it was great. Uh, and, you know, and there were some moments we invite also people from um, the Department of Education, Akirke Ablehan. So he was the head of the Department of Education in um, Shimken. And, all, and also she was in Bolashak alumnus. And I used my connection and we invited her. So it was a great. And there's so many people came. So took a picture. They see, you can see so many people came. And it was very interesting, to be honest. We're organizing and people were enjoying. And we did so many things. And unless... So there were so many speakers. We also invite Americans. We have also Professor uh, Mark Mann, who was a very good person. And he had very good, I mean, he's still, and, but he is a great, uh, so there were so many topics. He, he also had uh, his own speech. He also organized his own games and we were sharing. And we also had also a young entrepreneur in, Karag in Shimkian, Tohtar. So he also shared his own experience. So being a volunteer in American Garden Shimkin was a great time. And I will never uh, forget these days. We had a lot of people. We discussed different topics. We were debating. And it's been a great, to be honest. And then um, one day, uh, I was offered a job in Karaganda. And then I had to move to Karaganda. And I left uh, my city. And of course, uh, it wasn't easy. It was very difficult. But... But then I came to Karaganda and I joined uh, American Corner Karaganda. And we also organized our own club. So we organized debate club. I was also giving some speech. Uh, we talk about social media, uh, media literacy. It's in Shimkin actually. I want to show in. Oh, yeah. This, this one was in Karaganda. So I'll talk about media literacy. It was very good. Uh, a lot of people came around and we were continuing. And it was good. But... Um, I always continued my volunteering, not only in American Corner, but also in my job in Karaganda uh, Police Academy, where we invited uh, Dimash Niazov, so a police officer from New York. Uh, he's our compatriot. And we also organized uh, the TEDx. Uh, organiz uh, so this, it wasn't organized by us. So we basically, we supported the organizers. So the organizers were from Karaganda. They needed a place. They needed some support and sponsors and we helped them to organize this event that was a very good event uh, TEDx in Karaganda yeah. so we did it together so being a volunteer is a great and also we and I was very happy to meet my friends in Astana when we had a, a Toastmasters national conference and I met my friends I was so happy and it was a great so I wanna, this is what I want to share with you this is my experience and in Karaganda, we also had our club. And it was a little bit different because I was a new person uh, in the city. I was a new person. And it wasn't easy in Karaganda. And we're slightly different in terms of culture, maybe the way how we communicate, interact. So I struggled. But anyway, I never uh, gave up. And we had a, a great time. We organized debate clubs and Camila, she was coming. She was also admitted. Camila? Hello? Yeah, I Camila. Yeah, 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 I know. Camila from uh, Karaganda. 
yeah, she also was coming to my club and she was, uh, to be honest, uh, one of maybe the best uh, debaters. She played very well and we played some games and uh, that's what I want to say. If you have questions, please don't hesitate and ask me. Hey, yes, here, but uh, I had a technical problem and uh, I didn't read the chat box. Oh, Joshua, oh my God, it's nice to yes. see you, man. Yeah, Dinara, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, Baglan. <laughs> how are you doing? You good? Good, how are you? Good, I've got, um, you know, I, I got an offer from Nazarbayev University. So I'm going oh, to do my yeah. thing. Nice, congratulations. Thank you, thank yeah. you. It's nice to see you, man. Yeah, you too. Okay. So are you still in Shimkent? No, I had no. to leave because of the coronavirus. So I am in America in now. US. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Okay, guys, Baglan, thank you. I. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, we are sorry. proud of <laughs> you. What do you for our American corner Shimkent? Okay, I turn it for next our volunteer Sanjar Abdimajidov. He is our very young volunteer, and uh, he is Flex alumni, and uh, he is first who is help uh, spelling bee for high school students in Shimkent. Okay, Sanjar, your turn, please. So thank you very much for giving me a chance to talk about, about my experience in volunteering. And when I was young and I was, I was doing volunteering for three years in American Corner, I would like to say that I started my volunteering experience in American Corner. And by using my uh, um, like experience in volunteering, I could like participate in different um, projects and to improve my personal uh, qualities that I could go to USA and get scholarship uh, to study in one of the high schools in USA. I have been in Virginia so and what was the volunteering that I mainly do in Shimkent and what kind of projects I did and what's the benefits for me. So uh, as Alina said from American Corner in Shimkent um, I did spelling bee, organized spelling bee for 50 students from high school. Uh, it was great project uh, for our team because uh, I saw here one girl from um, other city from Kazakhstan who talked that a high school students could not participate in spelling bee. So um, as far as me, I couldn't participate in it. So I decided to organize for high school students and like it was very good so and they get very good certificates and good experiences and i would like to share with you one of my projects that um, i did for uh i did in an orphanage house um, when there was little kids who cannot afford like to see different kind of shows we could do sometimes the puppet shows for um kids who hasn't got parents so like we did it because I feel myself like warm for for small kids and I would like to help different kind of uh, kids around the world or in my home home city or in my community so in volunteering it will be helping you in the future in your career and also open new doors so Volunteering, I think it's very good opportunity to meet new people and also it's good opportunity uh, like to find out who are you in real life and you will find out um, your potential sometimes because you know like when you meet different kind of uh, people you will know that um, this person is different and you will understand his qualities and you can improve your qualities too. So thank you for attention. And if you have some questions, don't hesitate and write on chat box and I will be glad to answer it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sanjar. I'm glad to see you here. Yeah. Uh, okay, our next volunteer is uh, one of best volunteer, active uh, volunteer Yevnur. He held uh, many, many active clubs, SAT and the IELTS operation and organizing intellectual events for high school students. 
Okay, so, so so I'm here. Hello, everyone. How is it going? If like everything is okay, let me start. So my name is Yerno. I met with uh, American Corner when I was in 10th grade, actually. They were providing uh, intellectual camps for admissions. They actually preparing us to study abroad. And when I came to uh, that camp, I saw a lot of people. I met with them. We had, we are still good friends now. And then after that, I had one idea. Uh, I was in that time in 11th grade. I was preparing for SAT, and there was one problem: no one in Shenzhen uh, teaches SAT. If you know, SAT is the type of ex exam that is much harder than IELTS or TOEFL. There, you need to think critically, know how to find any answers uh, to the questions. So, okay. I started, I researched a lot about SAT, went to Reddit, read a lot of stuff, watched 100 million videos there on YouTube. Then I thought, why do, uh, can I like uh, share my knowledge, actually like knowledge to others? Because in Shenzhen, in that time, in two years or three years ago, there was no teachers about SAT. So I came to American Corner Shenzhen and asked Sofia Evgenievna, who was a, a head advisor of American Shenzhen. So I asked her and she said, okay. And she said, okay. Then I called like three of my best friends from American Corners camp. Then we organized, started organizing uh, free SAT classes. We started as a small group in four people. Every week for two hours, we teach, I teach math, uh, English part, writing part, every part. And that was very great. Then we started uh, enlarging our volunteer activities because uh, people are came, came in and going out, but none of them were knowing SAT. Why do we need SAT? Why we need SAT if we have an IELTS? This is a, like most common question. Okay, so then we said, okay, why not to teach IELTS also? Because we know IELTS, we've passed IELTS, we got like good marks. And then we said, okay, so then we starting uh, teaching SAT and IELTS together in American Corner Shenzhen. After that, we had like our uh, our Amanda, hmm. our our like ooh. my friends, like other friends know me and they started joining me to, to, to me and we start enlarging our volunteering activities. Then we thought, okay, we are teaching SAT, we are teaching IELTS. Why not to provide like some fun, cool stuff because teaching is okay, but uh, like the majority don't like uh, teaching, uh, studying. So that's why we started organizing intellectual games with American Corner. We, it's it's like a uh, it's like a, a competition where you sit in groups and then you started answering questions like questions about geography, about history, about biology, physics, and whatever you want, and you get for that points. The winner will get prizes, of, of course. Uh, then we started this uh, game, it's called Brain Ring. Uh, it lasted like every month. We gathered in American Corner, about like 30, 40 people came every month, and uh, we started playing with each other. And that was a very cool stuff. And actually, I'm still, not right now, but till July, I was volunteering teaching SAT online, actually, for NIS and uh, KTL students. But uh, <clears throat> so I was in that the most like beautiful or good stuff about volunteering was people because when you volunteer, I, when I volunteered, I made dozens of people, dozen minds, dozen interesting activities. Uh, those and like sorts and we started collaborating with some of them I still have like some projects doing with some some of them actually study in my university I study in Nazarbayev University when I went there I saw them he said hey are you going to American Corner in Shenzhen and they said yeah and we are like good friends there actually so one thing I want to tell about volunteering volunteering is a, a activity or thing that gives you uh, networking, uh, cool emotions and uh, interesting thoughts. When once, when you once tried volunteering, you will never like uh, forget about it and want to do it again and again.
So thank you for attention. If you have any question, I'm here. So always in four hours online. Okay, thank you very much for your opportunity. You share your opportunity with uh, other volunteers. And then we have a last our volunteer, Adidia Yildashiva. She held in American College and Ken Discussion Club. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, can everybody, he everybody hear me? Yeah. Sorry, I had a problem um, with entering uh, to the conversation. Uh, well, so my name is Aziza. Uh, I'm 19 years old, and uh, I was a volunteer in American Corn Shimkent uh, from uh, 2019, uh, 2018, from 2019. Yeah, actually, uh, I was a volunteer in a conversation club. So every, every week in a Friday, we were holding a conversation club in the American Corner, and I had such a great experience up here so um and uh, actually after the year uh i i quitted it but um i had a great experience while uh, volunteering um sharing the experience you know even even the little children they were coming uh just to talk with us uh to share their experience to learn something new from from the elders uh and yeah so do you have any questions about uh, about volunteering maybe there's something interesting you want to know can can you hear me yeah yeah mm, do you have any questions about volunteering uh i just wanted to answer if you have some some yeah by the way um uh, thanks to American Corner, I entered the Suleiman Dimitri University. I didn't ha even have problems with entering the exam because I had so much practice uh, in the American Corner. So, yeah, this practice uh, while uh, in a in a um, in a conversation club, uh, it helped me to enter to the Suleiman Dimitri University without any exams. So, yeah, it's just a key to my future. It, it was a key to my future, like uh, to be a volunteer. It, it gave me a lot of benefits. And yeah, that's pretty it. Well, maybe maybe you have some questions. Uh, I, I feel free to answer. By the way, sorry, I don't have, uh, my camera is working and now I'm just so nervous because of it. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, which university? Uh, Suleiman Dimitri University, it's uh, located in Almaty, uh, out of Almaty. Uh, yeah, and um, all the stuff, uh, just we study in English la language and um, yeah, that's why I love it. Uh, and after American Corner, I don't even have any troubles with studying in English. And what did I, did I organize? So uh, every time, uh, like every week, I was uh, looking for the topics, like interesting topics uh, for the for the people to discuss. And I was, uh, we were like discussing every question about a certain topic uh, because like, uh, for the conversation, uh, for the speaking skills, it is really important to uh, to be able to discuss any any topic, uh, whether that's art or maybe business or maybe shopping. So yeah, so I was organizing a topics and the questions, and we were just discussing them together. Uh, after this, we were playing games, uh, which are uh, which were connected with the speaking skills so which were really connected to improve the speaking skills so that's why you didn't hear how long do you uh, volunteer i was a uh, i was volunteer for one year in the american corner shimkent but i do volunteer work in the, in my university um yeah we do it like every for example Every week we do some activities uh, which is connected with volunteering, but it's not a conversation or something. It's just, it just different kind of activity. But I love volunteering. I, I have such a great feeling about it. And so have you been accepted uh, by U UNT and you get your scholarship? Well, um, I don't have uh, any scholarship, uh, but... Um, I passed the exam successfully, which is connected with English. So, uh, unfortunately, there were any any there weren't any scholarship to my profession in my university. But I don't have any troubles with studying. Uh, my GPA right now is uh, 4.0, and I guess that's just thank you for uh, thanks for the uh, American Corner. Okay, thank you. Thank Lisa. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you for all, thank you for, your, for all volunteers. Thank you for your attention. If you, have a, 
If you have uh, other questions for our volunteer, you use uh, during the session the chat box, you write chat box, uh, or you turn your microphone and then you ask the question after, after the course. Okay, thank you. I give a turn for next, uh, next corner. Next corner, our Pavla Petropavlsk. Yes, hello everyone. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, today, uh, oh, I'm Alina, I'm a uh, coordinator in American Kona Petropavlsk, and today our volunteers, um, Snežana and Alena, are talking about um, volunteering experience in our corner, uh, their best programs. And the first speaker will be Snežana, our active uh, volunteer and uh, eco activist. And she uh, is going to talk about her eco club. Uh, Snežana, please. Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for this nice presentation. And thank you for this chance um, for this opportunity for me uh, to talk about my Echo Club. Well, as you know, my name is Nizana. Uh, I am a volunteer at American Corner Petropavlovsk. And right now I am in chief of my project, which is called Echo Club. Um, well, um, where Mm, this Echo Club, where every Thursday uh, we discuss different ecological problems like climate change, um, environmental um, degradation, peace and justice, etc. Um, well, I have been um, a volunteer um, for all my life, as I think, and um, in American Corner, I'm a volunteer since um, since July. So um, during this time, uh, I started this Echo Club, um, where we discuss, as I said, environmental problems and sustainable development goals. Um, sustainable development goals are a blueprint uh, to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. And they address the global uh, challenges that we face, including um, those related to poverty, inequality, climate change, uh, environmental degradation, peace and justice. Uh, the 17 goals are all interconnected and um, in order to uh, in order to leave no one behind um, it's really important uh, that we achieve them all by uh, 2030 and uh, that's why I decided to organize my eco club so uh, a lot of people especially uh, youth Kazakhstan youth um, could learn more about uh, ecological problems and sustainable development goals. And um, well, um, we have different lessons on different topics. And um, also I had an idea which I realized due to uh, American Corner Library. And um, I got an echo box for paper waste and all this paper waste we um, took to um, to the firm and we got some money uh, for our charity and we put them uh, we <laughs> we put them um, to the dog shelter of our city so that's why that's how we help and um, achieve our sustainable development goals in our city and um, so if you're interested in um, these topics please um, join us in our club every Thursday and um, please be uh, a participant of our club or just um, our guest I would say so <laughs> Um, 
I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you, Sanjana. If you have any questions, please ask. I put our contacts in the um, chat box, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, actually, right now we don't have um, any other uh, activities except uh, Zoom meetings. Okay. Uh, and our next speaker is uh, Alena Stahanova. She is Plex alumna and our American Kona volunteer. Um, please, Alena. Alena, can you hear? Oops. Alena, turn on your microphone, please. Well, maybe she's absent right now. No, no, uh, she's here. <laughs> she is here. Yeah. Alena, she is Alena here, but she has a technical problem. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alena has some problems with her connection. Okay. Okay, I give the floor the next corner. Uh, Kostanai, please. So, okay, hello everyone. My name is. Ah, Alena is in the waiting room. Alena, can you hear? <laughs> okay, uh, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Had some troubles, I'm sorry. Okay, if I can start, my name is Alena Stahanova. Uh, as Alena said, I am an um, active volunteer of American Corner Future Palace. Also, I am proud uh, to be a part of Flex Alumni Program, as I am myself a uh, Flex Alumni 2018. And uh, I've been working with American Corner uh, during my uh, Flex Alumni representative position uh, in 2019, 1819. And uh, we've done a lot of uh, projects um, with the help of American consuls and um, American Corner Petropolsk as well. And one of the projects that I'm really proud of and I would like to tell about is the Shiro pro uh, project. Uh, it was women empowerment project and I was really passionate about it. Uh, we did uh, one week, um, uh, one week uh, meetings in the American Corner. Uh, invited uh, several guests from the capital city, uh, sharing their experience uh, about the project management, about the time management. Uh, also, we had um, also we had uh, special trainings in the local um, gym. Um, I would say uh, with the help of local volunteers. Um, Alena Yanina, uh, she is a, a, spe a specific trainer for women. Uh, and she showed uh, two or three, cannot remember right now. Um, we had uh, several meetings with her, uh, with, the, um, with the trainers, uh, about how to protect yourself if you're in a dangerous situation, especially for women. Uh, there have been around 20 girls uh, as participants. And uh, at the results of this event, uh, we had a huge community started in 2019, uh, which calls The Shiro. Uh, and I'm really proud of this project because now we get elongation as, a, uh, as the representatives all around the Kazakhstan with uh, my partner, with my colleague. Uh, she had uh, decided to organize this club all over the country. And now I'm uh, really happy that uh, my club still exists in Petropavl and several other uh, cities of Kazakhstan and girls still doing events and uh, different projects. So hopefully when I'll be back to Kazakhstan, I can continue work uh, with the girls, with the club and with American Corner itself. Uh, I have, uh, I see the question, I have enrolled the University of uh, uh, Riga. Um, in Riga, yeah, uh, Economicus and Cultura South Scholar. Uh, yes, and I would love uh, if you could follow us on Instagram, the Shiro Project Petropaus and the Shiro Kazakhstan. 
uh, I will also leave uh, several websites uh, here later. Follow us and follow our events. Thank you, Elena. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, I give the floor to Kostina now. Hello, everyone, again. My name is Kamal Jai. I'm the coordinator of American Kona Kostina. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. So I have two volunteers. I'm very glad to introduce them to you. Uh, and uh, now I want to give the microphone for my first speaker. She is Diana Timirhanova, the volunteer and the moderator of the Women Empowerment Club. Uh, wonderful. Diana, can you hear me? Okay, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Okay. Hi, I'm Diana. I'm from Kosei. And I started my voluntary work in 2017. I used to come to America when I was 15 and wonder how people keep being positive and further for life. There is years I've um, I've met many different and talented people. They are also creative and inspiring. I've seen them work on their projects such as English through songs uh, and language. And I've seen them taking part in spelling and teaching English to anyone. And of course, I've inspired and thinking. I think Diana has technical problems with the microphone. Diana, we don't hear you. Please turn on your microphone. And now? Yeah. Do you hear me well? Yeah, we hear you. Wait. So, and like this, do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Okay. So um, I've been thinking a lot of how to make contribution to American Corner. And just at that time, I wanted to join some women community to develop my soft skill. And that would be suitable for me and my goals. Uh, so that is how our um, club for self-development that is called Wonder Woman, um, was created. So the main idea was to understand our value and uh, that our beauty is within us. And in August, we launched uh, the Women's Club for Self-Development. And uh, we had different sessions that lasted for more than three hours each. They were dedicated to self-love, self-care, and et cetera. Et cetera. We invited successful and influential women such as Sholpan and Daria Krutova. Uh, they run their own business. Uh, later in October, I had to go to Poland 
to study there for one semester. And due to this case, American Corner helped me a lot to manage the club. And I, when I came back, um, that was February, uh, I was dealing with my uh, university assignments. So, and then the pandemic happened. So we have uh, pretermited the work. However, we're about to launch it this year like again to continue our work but uh, we've changed the name so now it is cool uh, in Russian abbreviation it means like successful people club so do you have any questions and I hope that you hear me well Okay, thank you. Okay, if there is no question, I think I should give a phone, microphone for my second speaker, uh, Sofia Kudravtseva. She is a volunteer and the old friend of the American Corner Postman. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, hello, my name is Sophia or Sophie, it's up to you. So I'm 20 and I've been volunteering in American Corner, I guess for four years now. I came there when I was in the 10th grade and my old friend Diana, that was the previous speaker, um, invited me to come there and I came there for the speaking club. And uh, actually I fell in love with um, their lessons and how it was all organized and how open uh, was all the people and uh, when I realized that I could do it by myself that I could uh, do my own lessons to uh, to try um, myself as a teacher as an influencer it really inspired me so I spent I guess all my free time of, of, of my last year in school, volunteering in American Corner. We watched uh, films in English, we played games, we uh, talked a lot. I've got a huge community of people that, thinks, that think exactly like me. And um, I've got a lot of incredible friends over there. And now uh, for the last three years, I am student of um, St. Petersburg, university so um unfortunately i couldn't um participate in all their events that is in american corner that's happening over there so when i'm in the city i am starting to do everything i could do to help them and the coolest events we had this year i guess it's spelling bee it was really really interesting um, because there was a lot of uh, incredible people in the contest was incredible during that time i had incredible experience um, talking with native americans and it really really helped me to um it really really helped me to improve my english and um, it helped me to stop being afraid of speaking speaking to other people who just um uh, learning english or who are native americans and just it was the best experience, I guess, that has happened in my uh, school life because um, that that was just really, really cool. <laughs> so, and now for the last few years, we are doing uh, speaking clubs and spelling bee um, with the older guys that is also volunteering over there. And our community is, I guess, like more than 40 people and they're all really, really cool. Thank you. I guess that's it. If you have any questions, I will be ready to answer. Yeah, there is a question for the chat box. There is, uh, what benefits you learn during volunteering? Um, first of all, I was really afraid of speaking, speaking in public, speaking in English in general, because I always didn't feel enough confident to speak. But when I came there, I saw a huge amount of people who were trying their best to do it and I just stopped 
stopped being afraid and I just stopped talking in English. And um, it helped me a lot because this year I went to America by the work and travel program. And this um, skill helped me a lot because when you are in America, you have to speak like with the mistakes, whatever you have to express yourself. And American Corner helped me with that a lot. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. So, thank you. I think that's it. So, Timur. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for your experience, for sharing your experience, for your questions, for your answers. And now I give floor to Joshua. Now it's time to play. All right. Well, everyone, thanks again for sharing all your really cool stories. They're very motivating, especially about um, volunteering. I also am a big volunteer, and it's great to see so many young people being active and inspiring others to um, volunteer and improve not only local society and communities, but right on a bigger scale. I think it's really good. And hopefully it will make the world a better, more peaceful place. So keep doing the great work, everyone. So now we're gonna play a game. Oh crap, where'd it go? Um, we're going to play Kahoot once I find it. It's somewhere on my computer. Here it is, okay. Um, let me... Can you, yeah. can you tell about prizes for our participants? Yes. So, um, the prizes for Kahoot will be as follows. Um, so, the winner will get an American Corner bag. Um, the second place prize is a water bottle. Um, volunteers will get something different. Their prize will be a cup, a Shimkent cup, I guess. Um, the third place prize is a mobile wallet. And again, for volunteers, it's a little different. You will get a notebook. And um, for fourth and fifth place, so if you come in fourth or fifth place, you get pins. So hopefully these inspire you to win and hopefully you were paying attention. Why? There it is, all right. So, can you all see my Kahoot? Hopefully, yeah. Do you see this? Yes, we see. Okay, so I think I could just play as guest if I'm not mistaken. Right? Do I just sign up or do I play as guest? Let's try guest first. Sorry. Yeah, before we start, yeah, please, you have to work with your mobiles yeah. or yeah, or laptops, go to kahoot.it and play. Uh, all right, we should do classic, right? One, everyone, right? One against yeah. one yeah. against one. Right. And... Ready to join, go. All right. So that's the code. Is that everyone? We have, what is it, three, six, nine? Ten. All right, we have 12, all right, 13, whoa. Is that everyone? I think no. Okay. I will, I will wait, 13 players. <laughs> Do 
decaf tea. Pen, pineapple, apple pen. <laughs> yeah, before we start, there will be questions about American corners and general questions about the USA. Okay, good luck. And um, just to remember, um, if your connection is bad, you might drop from the game, but you can just um, add or type in the, the game pin again and rejoin. Um, Kahoot sometimes has a problem with connection. So don't worry if your game doesn't connect, you can try again. Ooh, 18. Oh my God. It's an army. Are we ready to go? I think so. Who is not present? Raise your hand. Yep. Yeah, I think we can start. Okay, we will start. Starting. So what is American Corner? So hopefully you being volunteers of American Corner know this, this would be slightly embarrassing if you don't. <laughs> Most of you got it correct, right? Resource Center. All right, so far Meme is doing the best. And remember, you get extra points if you answer very, very quickly, but also correctly. Wow, it was evenly split, seven, seven. Ooh, all right, next. I think that, yeah, 10 questions. So how many countries are there American corners? I did not know this until I looked at the answer. Wow, right, 60, that's a lot of countries. Yay, Shim Kent is winning. <laughs> I wonder if there are American corners in the USA. Uh, no, I don't think there are. <laughs> but that's a good question. I, oh, look, almost everyone got it right. I will have to look that up. But my guess would be no. Ooh. I like the photo. I know most of those people.
Oh my God, everyone got it right. <laughs> nice. Libraries. Whoa. Oh, Sanjay. Yeah. He is literally on fire. <laughs> okay, so now some just historical information about the United States. We have a song for this in America to help us remember. But I won't, you can't sing it because it gives the answer, but I'll tell you after. Yeah, most of you, has, have any of you heard this? So in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That's what Americans are taught when we go to school, how to remember that date. Wow, yeah, Nora is now in front. English is the official language in the United States. I have taught this question before. I taught it at my university. That's very tricky. It is very tricky. The real answer is the US has no official language, which is pretty interesting. You would think English because most people speak it, but that is not true. I did not know this answer. This one was a crazy question. <laughs> Whoa, some of you are smart, right? Calvin Coolidge, a very unimportant president who didn't really not much in American history, but he was born on the 4th of July. That's a very interesting question, historical question. Yeah, it's in your independence. Yeah, all right. So actually, you, USA was the first country who accepted Kazakhstan as an independent country. An we independent are awesome. Republic. That's cool. The first country, even before Russia. Wow. Yeah. That's how awesome we are. All right, last one. Who is going to win the American Corner bag? So my name is Christopher Dubois. Is that my real name? <laughs> yeah, no, my name is Josh, right? <laughs> Excellent. So let's see who won the bag. The podium, please. So Julian get is third place. Meme is second place. And da -da 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 -da, drum roll. Yernord is first. Woo! Wait, wait, runner up. So uh, Sanjay and Pineapple. So remember, please remember, guys. You need to get your prizes. Yay! So that was the game. That was it. It was pretty short. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So, uh, Yernur, Yernur is from, where is Yernur? He's from Shimkent. Yeah, Shimkent, okay. Uh, Meme, where is Meme from? From Shimkent. Oh, great. Oh. Yes, Shimkent is awesome. <laughs> Who was the third? From Kostanay. Kostanay, great. Okay, four, Sanjay. Shimkent. 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 And, oh, Shimkent is awesome. <laughs> right? And, and someone else. Pineapple. Pineapple, Me. right. Pineapple. Shimkent, Shimkent. Also, <laughs> Shimkent, Shimkent, we destroy, right? Shimkent rocks. <laughs> Samu Luchi. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, yeah. Thank you all for participating. You did a great job. Thank you, Joshua, for your game. It was no very problem. interesting. <laughs> yeah. We also learned a lot. I'm and glad. by the way, uh, by the way, if I win the next elections, I'm going to be the second president of the United States born on the 4th of July. Ah, will you, wow. Yeah, will you vote for me? Ah, uh, well, sad news. You are not a U.S. <laughs> citizen, right? So you can't be. Yeah. But if you were, you could. That would be the coolest thing. Fourth of July. Well, happy late birthday. My birthday is July 20th. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're neighbors in, yeah. in, in, in the calendar. <laughs> right? Birthday neighbors. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. You okay, guys. so, yeah, is there any question you want to ask? So that, that's an opportunity you have. So by the way, the prizes will, yeah, you can get your prizes from the, the corner from your city. And so, yeah, there are some comments. So Turkey, Turkey was the first. So we, Wikipedia says that the USA was the first country, but I think Russian Wikipedia says that the Turkey was the first country, so. Oh, that's interesting. Russian Wikipedia is different than the U.S. Wikipedia? It must be so, but huh. anyway, USA and Turkey are great countries. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for being with us. You're always welcome at the American Corner. So then we finish. Bye bye. All right. Goodbye, Thank everyone. You. It goodbye. was nice to hear Thank from you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice to see you. You too. Thank Bye-bye. you, everyone, for joining us today. Bye. See you Bye. all in the future. Bye. <laughs> Joshua, also, thank, thank you Joshua. so much. You're welcome. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.